Being Jamaican is a lifestyle. This week, I went on a great adventure indeed, and I saw plenty of motorcycle riders. So I thought it's only fitting that I bring you a folks of the road from Jamaica. Hey everybody, uh, last minute interview here in Jamaica with the Brown Man. But he rides out here in Jamaica, and let me tell you, out here riding is something to say. He must be pretty crazy. So how old are you, bud? I'm 19. 19? My wife and I had the once in a lifetime opportunity to go to Negril, Jamaica and stay at the amazing Sandals Resort. This place truly has it all. Free red stripe beer, amazing beaches, free red stripe, great food. Free beer, top notch water sports, free beer, snorkeling in some pretty insane places. I am Jamaican, I am Jamaican My sugar cane fix any situation Let's go to the blue mountains then Go rafting, enjoy my ends Then we'll go around the races Link up your skin on the track Left dancing for you Adventure was around every corner Now the herbs in our farm base line Just a rap gala back it up and spot And my girl just pop up We a party till a man in place Pop till him up yeah and oh yeah, free beer. What dance contest? I don't know what you people are talking about. But mostly the people, the staff and the locals that we encountered were all outstanding. From Sean, our driver, to the staff at Sandals. So many smiles and warm hearts. Respect, my friends. One love. Even to our local friends on the beach, a woman who took care of my wife's sunburn, not for money, but just merely for love. We were very, very lucky to come to your amazing country. Thank you very much. You've helped me find my own Ayri. Something I lost long ago. The motorcycle riders here truly are at the top of the attention game. They have to make big choices on the road very quickly. We saw families riding on bikes, toddlers and all. Motorcycles are a crucial way for the population to get around at speed. The bikes were unhindered by the traffic, and the riding skill I saw was something to note. Brown Man is one of these riders. The people of Jamaica are really something unique. It was our last day, and we were sullenly off to the airport. We had had a great trip, but I had never gotten the interview with the biker that I'd wanted. The vacation had just gotten in the way. In the airport, I went into the Harley store, and as one last try, I asked the lady in the store if she knew any bikers. She thought for a moment and then smiled. Brown man, that guy is crazy. I was told that he worked at the Margaritaville, so my wife and I decided to go there. We sat at the bar, and I let the bartender know my question. Well, he knew brown man, too. That kid rides crazy. I swear, they lit that whole airport up getting me connected with Brown Man. Even after I had all but given it up, Jamaica didn't give up on me. And when did you first get into motorcycles? Like, how long ago? Um, four years ago. Four years ago? All right. Um, and uh, have you ridden pretty much since then? All the, every day? Every yeah, yeah. Is Um, okay, so what is it that you like about riding? What, what is it that kind of draws you back to it over and over and over? Just the fun, man, exciting. Um, okay, well, so other than bikes, what's important in life to you? My work. Your work? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And if you could tell anybody something about Jamaica, what would it be? Jamaica is fun and exciting. I have a lot of... I have a lot of cool stuff that you could think of. Very cool, very cool. Hey man, thanks. 
The road from Montego Bay to Negril is mired by potholes. It slows down the flow of traffic, causing backups. And that got me thinking. I can't be the only person that this special place means a great deal to. Surely there must be many of us that see this country for the amazing place that it is. And what could all of us do if we all gave just a couple bucks? Not a hand out, but a hand up to fix a problem that we could all benefit from. Jamaica filled so many holes for me. Maybe we could fill some holes for them. I've created a GoFundMe to raise funds to get the materials and or manpower to fill all the potholes from the road to Montego Bay to Negril. Think about giving a couple bucks. Be pretty cool if we could pull it off. It was clear very early that Jamaica would have a lasting impression on me. I look forward to visiting many times in my future. The one thing I think it can teach us all is that no matter what country, there will always be some folks on the road.